Is something bothering you, Shirley? Miss Lin has been filling me in on exactly what's going on with Dr. Rebilia these past few days. It looks like Miss Lyra and her colleagues might have found a way to rouse the doctor. Her neural activity is increasing every day. But we're all a bit worried about what form exactly our reunion will take when the good doctor wakes. These concerns have prompted Archon Larson to transfer the doctor to the Silver Coast Research Station. What do you think? Do you think Dr. Rubilia will be back to her old self? Or something other than human? I don't think the process has stripped Dr. Rubilia of her human capacity for reason and thinking. Her actions seem to have a clear purpose. Like how she sent a message to Lin using the puppet singer. Or how she made contact with Ruby in a dream to try to transmit a message to Mororia. And when she bravely ventured alone into the abyss, she also left us with invaluable visual records in her lab and along the way. I think she must have prepared for the possibility that those who might come after her, like us, would need guidance. She must know what she's doing. Think of the sacrifices she's made to understand these gray space entities, and how horrible it must be to keep at arm's length, treated as something potentially dangerous and inhuman. I can't help feeling that we have not done right by her. It's a tough situation, but when she made these decisions, she must have had an inkling of what might happen. I just hope everything she's done will turn out worthwhile in the end. Executor, Miss Shirley, apologies for the intrusion. What is it, Lyra? I just picked up a message from the Silver Coast Research Station. Dr. Rubilia has awoken and revealed some very important information for all of us. Lynn is already on her way there, and I wanted to ask you to come with me to help assess the situation. Understood. We'll leave it once. The doctor was only able to rouse herself briefly, which allowed for a short interaction with us. Then she returned to her isolation pod. She released some kind of black fog that has obscured all our attempts to observe what's going on inside the pod. Subsequent attempts at communication have met with no reply. I see. And so what did she tell you? She said that large numbers of gray space entities have been summoned by the Hive Mother and are heading for the deep ocean near Innis where there are some things they are very interested in. What's this Hive Mother? A gray space entity that's higher up the chain of command? I'm afraid a definitive answer may require the Doctor's input. Our main concern right now lies in Innes. The Doctor has already warned us numerous times that the Second City is in extreme danger. That is, if we are to trust her words. Archon Larson has already put patrols near Innes on high alert. But recently, we haven't received any reports of a gray space entity intrusion, which is perhaps even more disconcerting than if we had. It's possible the gray space entities have found a way to cloak their arrival via an as yet undetected method. My next question would be, what exactly is attracting them to the area? Director Ava, did Rebilia say anything more detailed in regard to Ennis? No, and I'm afraid she did not appear to be in the best state of mind. She claimed to be suffering under the effects of the Hive Mother's will. 
and that she was not able to interact much at all with us as a result. Moreover, she soon disappeared back into the black fog I mentioned. Stasis chamber data anomaly. Miss Lynn, the doctors. I can hear you. mother in my head whatever i see whatever i hear she hears and sees and i can't escape her even in this pod she can sense your surroundings somehow using your eyes any gray space entity can become the eyes and ears of the hive mother if she so chooses nor can i do anything to resist her will i know that when she looks at me she can see whatever I see. Right now, when the bulk of her attention is still focused on the Ennis artifact under the sea, I can maybe conceal a little bit of what I'm thinking from her. But I'm not sure how long that will last. What is this artifact under the sea that Ennis possesses? I don't know. I can't fully comprehend the will of the Hive Mother. All I know is she's calling me. And the call is getting stronger and stronger. She needs all of her millions of children to go and... release her. Release her? The Hive Mother herself is currently imprisoned within a cage of black stone. But the power of the cage is gradually weakening. And when finally that cage is broken, the Hive Mother will re-emerge fully into our world. A cage of black stone? Could it be deep under the sea at Ennis? I can't get any kind of accurate sense of the Hive Mother's current location. Perhaps there is a pocket of abnormal space, like the confounding abyss near Ennis. It's difficult to imagine what kind of person could have the power to cage the Hive Mother. But I suspect the Blackstone ruins left in the confounding abyss may be their handiwork as well. I don't know much about that. I have no access to the minds of those powerful abyssins, but as for the inferior, younger, gray space entities, they do not have the ancient memories of the Hive Mother, nor seek to continue her ancient grievances. I'm still trying to establish closer contact with them, and some kind of rapport, but I feel like the closer I get, the less human I become. I just don't know if I can. Can. Rubilia? The stasis chamber's readout has returned to normal. Her consciousness is fading. Listen carefully. She is keeping a close eye on me. I have to retreat back into the fog. She can use all my senses for her own purposes. Only the fog blocks her vision. Innes, you have to stop her. If what the doctor just said is true, then I'm afraid the entire region may not be the friendly human habitat we imagined. I will inform Hycros headquarters of what has transpired here and request urgent reinforcements. We will have to prepare for the worst. It doesn't look like the doctor is capable of many conversations in her present state, Archon Larson. But she must know even more than what she's managed to reveal. Yes. We'll have to see whether we can minimize or cut off the Hive Mother's influence. It might help to stabilize her. Lyra, can I leave that to you? Dr. Clive will provide all the necessary resources. Yes, sir. For the time being, Dr. Rubilia will have to remain confined within her pod. We can't risk bringing her back to Maroria at this stage. Director Eva, an executor team led by Captain Merrill will help you shore up the research station's defenses. Yes, sir. As for inners, Lynn, can you organize a team to investigate? And if necessary, we may need to stagger an evacuation of Inner's population to Mororia. Understood. Time is against us. I suggest using the long-range space rift located within the station to reach Innis directly. 
And as for Rubilia, she's in your hands. Don't worry, Miss Lin. We'll look after her. Very well. Executor, Shirley, let's go. for delaying your important mission, Lin. Is the space rift out of action? It seems so. Strange. It was working just fine five minutes ago. But then, when I was running some basic system checks, suddenly, I couldn't locate the space rift beacon in Innis. And why could that be? Well, we're running diagnostics to see if the machine is malfunctioning, but it could be a problem with the relay station or inner zone space rift. Yes, hello? Did you manage to get in touch with the technician in Inners? Oh, what's that? Then... and Outpost 10? Okay, got it. Bad news. Something's happened to Outpost 10. We've lost contact with it. And where is Outpost 10? In the ring-shaped river valley not too far away. Outpost 10 is responsible for servicing our telecommunications and space rift networks with Innis. A problem of this magnitude with Outpost 10 means... We've lost contact with Innis altogether. I don't think it's a coincidence. I suspect the outpost may well have already come under Grey Space Entity's attack. Shelly, please inform Ms. Lyra about this at once. The Executor and I will investigate it personally. Okay, understood. I've been trying to make contact with the outpost for a while, but there's no response. It seems something really did happen. Could it just be a problem with the outpost's communications equipment? If it was just an equipment malfunction, the outpost would have already gotten someone to inform us. But we've heard nothing from them. But if the place had indeed come under Grey Space Entity's attack, the Executor there would have notified Headquarters right away. We haven't picked up any message of the sort. No request for reinforcements. Nothing. Unless... Unless what? Unless the outpost's defenders were taken out so quickly that they didn't even have time to get a simple message out. But no ordinary Grey Space entity is capable of taking out an entire outpost's executor team and other defense personnel that quickly. Tian Long, which executor is currently on duty there? I think her name is... Umi? Relatively new. I have only met her a couple of times. Let's go. We need to get to the bottom of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 